Well, here we go. We made it to the Georgia Traverse. We just got on, found a campsite we saw last night. This thing is stunning. River and creek behind me. It's going to be hard to beat uh, the first night's uh, campsite, that's for sure. But today the adventure begins. Right behind me is where the Georgia Traverse is, and we'll be riding that all the way down to the end. Oh, man. What a good morning. I'm caffeinated, had some food. Those green belly mills, man, they are filling. And we're ready to go. We're gonna get packed up. We're looking to do about 145 miles today, roughly. Let's get packed up, let's get on the road, and let's have some fun, man. This is going to be an adventure. Just leaving camp, they're throwing us to a, uh, a little challenge here, man. This is kind of some straight up and down outside of camp, but we're packed up. We are on Georgia Traverse day one. We're gonna ride through the Georgia Traverse and keep going, find some other routes. And this road here is for real. Our campsite was gorgeous, as you saw, but we are ready to go. Wow, this first section is not playing any games. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, right now it's all about picking the best line. This has got a lot of drainage through it. Some some loose rock. It is an absolutely gorgeous ride. I'm trying to get a little bit of the view in and not uh, take my bike off the cliff. But this is a stunning beginning. If I get this for 900 miles, I'm a happy man. I'm gonna attempt to put in, as I mentioned earlier, roughly 145 miles. We're gonna see what today adds up to to give us a little more information and kind of go from there. 145 is our goal. Barry in front of me there, riding the 850 BMW, I think it's an 850 F GSA. Probably seen them on many of my different videos. The F is uh, we're at England, okay. <laughs> Well, nothing flat to start this thing. I know these GoPros don't always show it, but we are either straight up or straight down. It's deep, good guy. You want to walk it and take a look? Anything we need to do? We're at our first uh, water crossing here for today, and there's gonna be a bunch of them today. There's been a lot of rain out here, so we're attempting to do these as safely as we can while we're, you know, having some fun as well. Here we go. All right, well, that'll cool off the feet. <laughs> yeah. That one, uh, to start with, is a little deeper than I thought it'd be, probably a foot and a half or so. Right. I have a bad tendency to go way too fast through water and just get wet everywhere. I didn't do too bad on that one. All right, moving on. We're definitely gonna be riding through a handful of water crossings today. This whole route should just be uh, really, really epic. We're gonna 
hit some gears and uh, man, let's have an adventure. The route's definitely continuing on a less serviced forestry road. I love this. I'm usually in South Carolina, North Carolina. You've seen a lot of my videos in Georgia as well. Uh, or I'm sorry, Tennessee, um, which is just gorgeous. I don't know how much of Georgia's gonna give us this, but this is just a great service road, man. This is it's not too technical, great to ride, a lot of fun. And it got a little crazy back there. I see a lot of trees being cleared, so somebody's out here. Um, yeah, but this is not your average forest service road. This is just a ton of fun. First tarmac of the trip right here. That was an extremely fun ride. With the amount of rain they've been getting out here, um, a, little, a little rough at parts. But really not overly technical, just got to choose your right line. Some of that was really just straight downhill and had those chops out of the earth like that. A gorgeous territory wherever we are. First real adventure in Georgia and they are impressing the heck out of me. Some type of national forest tarmac here, but look at this gorgeous river. Somebody's in here playing around. We got a little bridge. Thank you, sir. Gorgeous little river beside us. Oh, some type of campsite's in there too. Oh man, that is ridiculously gorgeous. I could ride by this uh, little river here all day, man. Jeez. What's that song, Georgia is on my mind? And if it's not that, I'm changing the words, but it should be Georgia's on my mind. This is stunning. Let's see how many times I can say the word stunning on my video. Looks like we're about 10 miles into our estimated uh, 145 and uh, oh my gosh, squirrel. I can't keep my eyes off these waterfalls. Little bit of this section right here definitely brings me back to uh, Damascus, Virginia. Or, uh, yeah, on that last little bit of the uh, Trans America Trail we're doing around Damascus, it has that vibe for sure. Just ridiculous.
All right, I'm gonna keep staring at this river, getting some miles in, and if I don't have death by view, I'll see you guys after a little bit, man. This is ridiculously gorgeous. Ooh. All right, here is the famous water crossing. If I didn't say I was extremely nervous, I'd be lying. We're gonna get down here and go for it. All right. We made it through. That's the important thing. Could have done that a little different. I pulled a little too much clutch in and uh, whiskey throttled. Put my feet down. Well, I'm not hot anymore, Barry. Whew. That is the craziest crossing I have ever had. Holy smokes. All right, let's get after it. That was interesting, guys. Let's keep going. All right, one craziness to the next. This is definitely getting beat up. You can see where the Jeeps and everything go through. This, uh, yeah, we wanted adventure. We got adventure, let's do it. Holy smokes. Whew. Yeah. The crazy thing is not only was it rutted, all the soft sand in it. The left hand corner? Oh, I see. Okay. Alright. Well. <laughs> Water crossing number three. I'm going to try to stay dry these guys, this time, guys. And, uh, yeah, this is a... Uh, all this rain has really beefed these up a little bit. Let's get after it. It might have been the classic John, a little bit too much speed, but uh, getting it done. It is a little weird. Oh, Barry, stay left. Stay left when you get around that corner. Got some loose rock on one side. Oh, that was a tough line to pick. And we are just going to climb. Get out the way, butterfly. You good, Barry? Left looks, yeah, like the winner. Good lord. Here we go again. Woo wee! Okay, maybe I could have walked that one and saw the, the less deep. I am, uh, whoo, now, uh, covered in water. <laughs> All right, this has gotten loose. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, I can get you right here. I can get you right here.
Hang on, buddy. Let me help. Kill that key. Oh, you gotta. Where's your kill switch? Can you get to it? Oh, I think. I think that's holding it right there. Not adventure until I hear Barry say no, 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 no. No, no scratches, no big deal. <laughs> All right, why? We got Barry back up and running here. I'm sweating. I'm gonna take off a mid layer, have a drink, and we'll get back at it, guys. Everything look good, Barry? All right. Let's get uh, some layers off. No more than an eighth of a mile away from where uh, Barry dropped the bike there. We're immediately on tarmac. He had a couple more corners to go. But if you're going to come off the gravel, this is what I am talking about. I'm a little aware of where we are now. Um, I think that crossing we saw that hiker was called Bly Gap. You're uh, getting into North Carolina on the Appalachian Trail. My wife and I were crazy enough in 2019 to hike the Appalachian Trail, so I got a little bit of comfort level there. But I definitely have not seen it on the road like this. Just gorgeous. This will probably throw us right back into uh, gravel here in a little bit. Would be my thought. And every section, even the tarmac of this trail has been just amazing. Let's see what we get. Alright, we just pulled off on the, uh, the ridgeway. We are, uh, again, on the Appalachian Trail. This is actually... Uh, can't remember the name of the gap, but Hiawassee is right down here, top of Georgia, which is now called uh, something else, around the Bend Hostel. This is like a throwback, man, from when I hiked the Appalachian Trail. We need some food, wouldn't mind topping off the old gas, and uh, we're going to find out what we can run into, and uh, we'll be back with you. Alright, we're going to run into a barbecue shop here in town, we're on the parkway which is gorgeous in itself, so no complaints there, but we were supposed to hop off on what looked like just a crazy amazing double track um, right off the parkway, but uh, the gate was closed for a service gate. So we gotta make our way around. It sets back a, a little bit for time today, but we should be good. The shame of it, it really did look like a fun road. We're gonna ride the parkway should meet back up with uh, the Georgia Traverse which is the trail we're starting on as mentioned and should be able to make it to some barbecue all right options one through seven were all temporarily closed I think we're in a little tourist area here we got some type of uh, grill or something berry picked out looks delicious and they're open so this is what we're gonna do beautiful ride around the lake let's get some grub find some type of gas and uh, get back on the trail. Oh, Burton's last dive yeah. for the win. That was amazing. Couldn't have been better. You can get back on the trail find our way back to the traverse and uh, see what it's got in store for us here make a couple change on some batteries on the cameras make sure my luggage is still holding strong all right we are fat and happy we're well fed just build up the Himalayan got a little uh, fear of running out of gas FOMO Barry uh, is filling up his uh, GS about every other fill up for me. Really don't want to push this thing down the mountain. 
I'm usually filling up uh, about a quarter tank left or so, so just make sure nothing crazy happens. We're back on the road and we are looking at this scenic, frighteningly beautiful drive. Should be on uh, gravel soon. It is, uh, oh, let's see, a little bit before 3, about 2.45. Not on track for our mileage yet, but we'll get some made up. There we go, ABS is off. Let's see where this brings us. I think we're going to be on this section of road for a while. And all of its, ah, man, this is gorgeous. It's lightening up just a little bit here. It's pretty technical when we first got on it with some larger boulders and such. But we'll be on this for a while. I suspect on and off, or we got some riding to do yet. Okay. We got a car coming up here. Yep, I do. All right. Oh, and we got a water crossing. <laughs> it gets deep quick. All right then. Whew. Hop into that water crossing like nothing happened because it looks like it's about six to eight inches deep. And then the end has a, it must be where it drains across the road. It gets thick quickly. All right, I'll have to play this back. I think uh, five water crossings today. Is this number six? Let's see. Yep, sure is. Yep. It looks like stay to the right. This will be like number six or so. It's crazy. All right. So much for those dry socks. That was overrated anyway. Some type of attraction, hiking or waterfall around here. Helen Creek Falls, that's cool. Oh my. Oh my. All right, John, you still gotta drive. That was beautiful. I, hopefully I got it on camera. I'm not sure that I did. I'm jumping off. Not here. Now nope, I'm going to hop onto some gravel. Thank you for having a bridge. Hi, chickens. This feels fun. Slightly more, less technical. The ground is a little better, a little easier climb here. We've got some other bikes though. I see some, definitely some tracks coming up. last couple miles this has been our surface coming back down the other side of this mountain larger gravel on top of something it is I feel myself fish down a little bit I can see berries fish down a little bit it's uh, it's loose it is yep oh man I can feel that moving
Well, not today, River. At least I'm not going over that yet. Man, that thing runs with some force. There's a whole bunch of uh, log run. That thing's moving. Riding right beside the river again. We are almost 110, 150 miles into our day. And if you do the math, it's a slight bit ridiculous or awesome, which is the better version of that. Oh my gosh, how much of it was by a creek, a river, uh, the lake, but the lake I'm not even gonna count. Just running water. It seems like maybe it's just in my head, I'll have to review my own footage, but about 90% of today's ride has been beside a river or creek. Kudos to them. Right, well, we we're pushing 5:30. Been on tarmac for just a little bit now, maybe about 10 or 15 minutes, but we should be finding something. I think probably the next set of gravel, if it's a long run, we'll find our camp for the night. It is only day one, but Georgia Traverse has been ridiculously amazing. Great choice of roads, great views. Uh, it's probably a little sentimental, sentimental, sentimental to me because of the uh, passing the Appalachian Trail, passing towns I know from the hike and everything. But uh, yeah, this has been this has been fantastic. I'm right behind you let me take a look yep I see it being crazy in the beginning where the heck do I go okay all right oof yeah it's a surprise to come around the corner too well, oh my look at that sight yeah not very level oh boy and then they throw this at you a little less looking at the sights and a little more keep my eyes on the road all right we're gonna get camp set up all i can think about right now is getting these boots off they've dried out all right my socks are kind of dry-ish now um literally think there's cre there's creek water from five six seven creeks in here drive me a little crazy however because i pack like a maniac i have each of my shoes in different bags so we're going to set up tent set up camp and then get out of these wet socks so let's enjoy back to back nights falling asleep to running water is going to be epic let's get this done tent I've used on all my motorcycle trips so far has been the Big Agnes Tiger Wall UL3 which is really just a fantastic tent another YouTuber I've talked to um, Dork in the Road has used the same tent and loves it they make an absolutely amazing tent as I talked about today, crossing the Appalachian Trail so much has been very sentimental to me because I've hiked it in 2019 with my wife. So it's kind of neat to do a crazy motorcycle trip like this. I am not 100% sure if I'm gonna find a fish in one of these boots, but my socks which are merino wool socks made for drying are still definitely damp. Yep. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Nope, I didn't think so. Oh, did I get a drop? 
I did. But with Moreno socks, that's going to dry out pretty quickly. Not sure I'm going to get those boots to dry out, but, uh, you know, they do the job. It's amazing at camp anytime you're on a motorcycle to take your boots off. It just feels epic to get into shoes. Not that they're uncomfortable. The, the Alpine Tech 3s are actually respectively comfortable. Nice lining inside of them. Um, made for protection, not exactly made for comfort. These are. I feel like I can officially start camp now. I'll get these over here. Hopefully they magically dry. Yeah, let's make a coffee maybe. Time for dinner. Oh, I definitely packed too much food. We've been hitting a lot of restaurants along the way. Better safe than sorry, I guess, right? All right, Barry. You aren't messing around. Oh, man. As I mentioned in my video, oh, where was I? The URE Forest having a ball on the Himalayan. There's nothing like camping with Barry. If it's not steaks, it's the best damn fires out there. Got some serious benefits. Amazing fire, Barry. I'm gonna kind of dig in with a junkless bar. I gotta have another one of those fruit roll-ups. They are killer. You have them? Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna, I gotta make this thing smaller so I travel better. Uh, I'm gonna have a, another green belly, which was delicious, or fire up some, uh, some dehydrated food. And we called it probably 30 or 40 minutes early because of this. Hard to pass up on this. And we still made our mileage, man. I'm tickled, dude. What a day. Yeah, we are really debating on is this i mean we got water and the next thing it looks like we're going up so it was not going to be a water you know hearing the sound of the water and stuff like that. yeah i mean look at that ridge line's pretty steep up there we would have been leaving the water for sure yeah. oh so uh <laughs> what do you think about uh charlie's creek and the oh, famous yeah, one there yeah. the boat launch as you say yeah i thought that was a boat Crazy. Yeah, the um, uh, all of them were super scary. Yeah. You know, we've got money in these. We're not rich, you know, so hurt, hurting these. And I've watched um, uh, several channels where they drowned their bikes. Yeah. And uh, we're in the middle of nowhere. Um, so that's that's scary, you know. That uh, I, I've had a thought game plan in my head of you know. You saving me, me saving you, you know, that type of thing. But it was nice to have uh, a riding partner through those. Like Charlie's Creek, um, it was it was interesting. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I'll throw the name up, but that's the famous one. It's just so long and it's going right. I, I, I saw where you went deep and I'm like, okay, I'm going to cut it early. Um, and then whiskey throttled and I had to put my foot down and boy, like that water was cold. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna feed my face, make up for some of those uh, lost calories and those technical parts. Enjoy the fire. We'll see you after a bit. One of my all-time favorites. They actually have quite a bit. The Packet Gourmet I got working on the uh, All American Burger Works. Crazy good. Their, their chili is outstanding as well. Check this out. Oh. We're about 10 minutes out of that being done. They send you cheese, little onion crunchies. You got mustard, ketchup, mayo, and sweet relish for those freaks out there that like sweet relish, but that's not really a thing, so 
yeah, we won't be eating that. It is fantastic though. Pack of Gourmet is one of the my all-time favorite um, dehydrated foods. We eat it quite often. We're definitely going to run into a weather event tomorrow uh, if nothing changes, some pretty heavy weather. So I'm pulling the weather right now from Garmin. They pull it from Dark Sky and uh, NOAA, North Atlantic, Oceanary, you know, them. Um, very accurate. It'll actually pull to my GPS location. So we'll figure out our day uh, tomorrow. If there's not a lot of rain, we'll ride through because, you know, wow, that was quick. Uh, and uh, if there is, we'll ride in the morning. We're going to get up early, hit the bikes early. Uh, and then find some type of, uh, it'd be nice to find like a campground with some, a cabin or something or whatever comes our way. But we will find out soon right after dinner and uh, we'll go from there. Tonight's fire brought to you by whoever's playing around with uh, particle board out here. Mm. It's ridiculous how good this is, man. Oh, yeah. I'd still say a little better with a wrap, but this is, is crazy good. Yep. We're going to throw the drone up, see if we can get a little footage of this beautiful area. I'm going to stuff my face, and enjoy the fire, and uh, see if we can get a crazier day tomorrow. How about them apples? day we're gonna wind down guys call it a night great fire great food that was a ton of fun riding so you definitely have some heavy rain coming in as we mentioned earlier it's kind of on our mind what we're looking at so we're gonna try to wake up early and hit the trail early see if uh if we can make it into dalton and uh get a hotel campsite something like that um, with a cabin, but we'll figure it out. Have a great night. Don't forget, if you've liked this video, uh, to leave a comment, hit the like button. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, if these type of videos you enjoy, come along, hit the subscribe button. We're having a lot of funs out here. That's right, funs. And uh, I think we'll wrap it up from here. Tomorrow's going to be a great, great day on trail. Outrun the rain? I don't know, but we're going to try. Um, see part two of this video next week and guys have a great night time for bed <laughs>